Well, good afternoon, everybody. This is Malik, and I'm back again. Tonight I'm on my Cali box, and I am going to show you how to use AirCrack to uh, get a web key from a router. <clears throat> the next video will work on WPA and WPA2 keys, which have to be captured in a different way. So let's go ahead and jump into this thing. It's a very straightforward little thing. Um, but again, I'm on my, my Cali 2016.2 box uh, and already have AirCrack on here. And the first thing we need to do is uh, from the command prompt, run Airmon NG. Oops, if I type it straight, R M O N N G. What it should come back with is an interface. <clears throat> this is what lets you know that your wireless card can be put into monitor mode. If this doesn't show up, then there's really nothing you can do. Uh, now, you cannot run this through a virtual. Uh, it, it, just the way virtuals work with wireless cards. I've heard some people that were able to pull it off, but it's really, really tricky. Um, so, of course, I'm running this straight from straight from Cali itself. This is not a virtual. So there's my interface, WLAN 0. What I need to do is put that in monitor mode. So I'm going to run just Airmon NG and type start. WLAN 0. It is now in monitor mode. Now, I was online. I'm not now. I've lost my signal. With my, my card being in promiscuous mode, I can't get on the internet with it. I'm too busy capturing packets. Okay. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to see what... Uh, what routers are out there that we can grab signals from. So we're going to run an arrow dump. It's arrow dump, just arrow dump ng. Oops, arrow dump ng. And uh, our adapter name. Now, notice your adapter name may change. It changed from WLAN 0 to where when we uh, when we started it up, it is now known as WLAN 0 MON. Oops. That is now going to show us all of the, branch it out here to where you can see it a little bit better. It's going to show you all of the um, routers around here they can get information from. I'm going to let it run for a second, let it pick mine up. Let me send it the packet. We really don't have anything going over it, so uh, let me just do something to send it there. How about we do this? That should allow it to show up. Come on, where are you at? Oh, let me get through that. Sometimes it takes all of them a minute to show up because it's cycling through everybody. In fact, let me make sure I'm actually on it. Let me close everything. Okay, I am on it, and it should show up, and there it is. All right, so you let that run, and then Control C, just break out of it whenever you find the one you want. This is the one I want to hit, TCC MOO, and as you can see, I told you it was WEP, so it's set up for WEP. Well, this is what I want right here. I want the BSS ID. So I'm just going to copy that. And I also need to know what channel it's on. It's on channel 1. 
So now we're going to start capturing beacons just from that one. So we just do an arrow dump, dash C and the channel that it's on, dash dash BSSID and the BSSID of the one we want dash W and the place to save your files. I'm going to save mine to the desktop. It's going to save four files and then the name of our adapter. So every one of these files ends with the name, every one of these commands ends with the name of your adapter. So it's WLAN 0 MON. Okay. Now it's going to start capturing data. Let me kind of show you what it's doing. Show you the files. There's the four files it just saved. And they're going to be updated with everything it's capturing. The cap file is the one we're more concerned about. Okay. So we just let that capture. Okay. And I'm going to do two quick little things here. I'm going to show you how we can make things capture just a little bit quicker. Uh, we can do uh, a reauthentication to kick somebody off and then get them back on and to where they have to reauthenticate themselves. Uh, that's just done by doing an airplay ng dash zero, which is a deauthorization send them two packets dash a and then the BSSID that we want that's of the router dash C and this is the BSSID of the machine that we want to kick off now these are the machines that's actually on it these two down here at the bottom Okay. Now, unfortunately, one of these are running my Volk screen. I don't want to kick that one off. I kick that one off. It's going to stop the recording. Um, so I'm going to hit the zero zero uh, zero zero A E F A E zero six B E nine and again, it ends with our adapter, which is WLAN 0 MON. What that's going to do, it's going to send two deauth packets to that machine, which is really going to make them lose a ton of packets until they reconnect. Now, if the machine is set to auto reconnect, like most people set their machines to, then it's not going to be a problem. They're going to be right back on again. If they're not set to auto reconnect, then they're going to be kicked offline, and they're going to have to manually do it. Now, I'll show you one more here real quick, and then we'll kind of pause the video. We'll wait until we get a whole bunch of things in. There's one more I can do, and this one's kind of neat. Um, it's a it's still an AirPlay NG, but this time we're doing a dash three. I'm going to show you what that does. Dash B is our BSSID, and for some reason here it's dash H, which is the client machine. Oops, didn't want to do that. Go just fix this one. Didn't mean to do what I just did. So we're going to do a dash three. It is dash B. And this one is a dash H. 
and then WLAN 0 mon. Okay, watch what happens here. We are going to nail it with ARP requests, which basically means our beacons are going to start raising fairly quickly, almost immediately. Okay, so I'm just going to stop that. Now I'm going to go ahead and pause the video here for a little bit. I'm going to let our beacons go up. I'm going to come back and we're going to come up with our password. Because for now it's just a matter of waiting like 15 minutes. So I'll see you back in about eh, 15 minutes. All right, well, welcome back everybody. And let's see what we got here. We've got got some data packets going on. Uh, we've got some beacons going. I've just been kind of wasting, uh, you know, just hitting websites just to just to boost up the the data packets. Just going into any old website I see, and then coming back out again just to boost up the data packets and the beacons. And so the the busier the um, router of course the more packets you're going to capture if you happen to be on a, a dead router you know nobody's on it or one or two people are on it it's going to take forever to, to capture packets um, you know so because like I just logged off and you see that my data packets are now down to next to nothing which are basically just ARP requests uh, once I jump on like here, let me do this. You see how slow they're coming up. I mean, watch this. I'll just do something. Just bring up one site here. Uh, you know, you're gonna see once it, once I start going to sites. I mean, you can see. I mean, that's just one little site. Yeah, you see the packets go up much much faster. So, if you get a a router that's being hit by a lot of people it's not going to take a whole lot of time for you to get your beacons. All right, we've only got one more thing to do here. First off, we just need to stop this. So we're just going to control C out of it to end it. And one very last command. Uh, well, really we need to run two commands because my uh, wireless adapter is still in monitor mode. I need to take it out. So just Airmon ng stop and whatever your adapter name was which mine was uh, wlan 0 mon that will just disable monitor mode and put me back into station mode so now I'm back online again now for the line is actually going to do the the busting of the IVs okay it's just air crack dash ng and then the path where that cap file is saved so I saved mine to root desktop and I can just do star dot cap because I only have one cap file there hit enter let it start looking through it Ooh, we only got 500 oh wow that wasn't bad oh, we got 29,000 IVs so we had enough there's the key it, it comes through as it looks like hex when it when it's web, but it's a d d ten eight two zero zero zero. That's the key I put in. I didn't want it incredibly hard. I didn't want to get one hundred and fifty thousand or two hundred thousand or nine hundred thousand IVs. I made it fairly straightforward. Did make it a little bit longer, um, but it's a fairly straightforward little password. But that is the web password. Okay, so again, it really depends on the length of the the password as to how many IVs you need to get. Um, it, of course, the longer the the web key, the more IVs you need to grab because only three bytes of every every IV has any part of the the passcode in it. Uh, so you're going to need to capture more and more the longer it gets, and you have no idea how long it is, of course. Uh, it can be anywhere between 8 and 60, 63 characters. So you're dealing with a 63 character web key. You're going to have to capture 
seven, eight hundred thousand at least um, IVs before you break it. And it only gets harder when we get into WPA because you're not going to be able to break that from a line. You're going to have to break that from a word list. And Cali has a fairly decent word list. Um, you know, the, the, the Rocky word list uh, in, in the share folder. Uh, I actually have that copied over into a word list folder and ha have truncated it to, to get rid of all the passwords in it that's less than eight characters because it's got to be at least eight characters. So I don't want it to waste its time looking for those. Um, but there's over nine million passwords in it. So I try that one. I have a couple other ones I have in there too. So, But anyway, that is the web crack. And uh, tomorrow we will do WPA and see if we can grab enough stuff to do that one. But again, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, definitely put them in the comments. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Um, I've got some big stuff coming up. I'm working on my uh, uh, ECSA certification. Uh, my my pen test certification uh, so I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of that um, but I'm still going to be posting these videos out there for you guys so let me know what you want to see like the video, subscribe to the channel let me know what you want I'll make sure I get it out there for you but until then everybody have a great night and uh, I'll see you